All Quiet on the Western Front by Eric Maria Remarque. Terrible story in the sense that the subject matter is gruesome, horrible, madness. Otherwise, it's included on some lists of the best novels and indeed powerful message and a must read. In fact, I think it's at the French uh, Lycée, which I no longer appreciate since they sent me a, a very rude message the other day. Careless, but uh, in the perspective of that big war, let's not uh, engage in petty uh, issues. Uh, the French education system seems to have uh, this included as a must read, uh, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I think I've seen I've seen it on the list uh, to read uh, with my daughter. Um, it is uh, mind-boggling, that's why I'm probably at the station, uh, to think such things can happen. Uh, and millions of people dying for apparently no good reason. Well, yes, there were clashes, there were empires fighting over uh, spoils, and it's not just the death of that Franz uh, Ferdinand Arch Archduke in uh, Sarajevo. That was the pretext, that was the spark, which would ignite a fire based on a lot of uh, conflicts and um, territories to to conquer and uh, split. However, it is um, terrible to read about the atrocities and to think that um, tens of thousands died every day and um, nothing moved. That's part of the irony. The front line was basically in the same place. Um, I hesitate because it left me a bit numb. I'm sorry. If <laughs> I'm looking for words because, uh, for instance, this image comes to my mind with uh, that man who lost his head. Literally, it was blown off, blood spilling, and he's still moving. That keeps me, uh, as I said, in a trance, in a drug lag, I think. Uh, state. Um, there are glimpses of hope, of course, and there is innocence. I'm thinking now of moments when in the hospital uh, the patient, uh, the narrator, wounded, needs to use the toilet. And he's so, they're young people, he's so shy and naive and innocent that he doesn't know how to address the nurse on the issue. And he, with the help of another still young, they're all young, the majority are in their 20s or under, uh, especially our heroes uh, who are under 20 actually, uh, to begin with. And um, the other one says he needs to leave the room. Uh, and finally, uh, there's the, you want the big thing or a small thing? So they give him a bottle. Uh, but throughout, as I said, it's horrifying, and to think that this war ended with the victory of the British, the French, but who did everything wrong by imposing such a bad peace on Germany, and that would cause uh, 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 terrible inflation, people suffered, of, suffered hunger, from hunger, and then we have Hitler and the Second World. Germany in the First War, in order to get Russia out, helped Lenin uh, with a train, with a carriage, a special carriage on a train, and then we have communism, which uh, destroyed this land for so many years. We still pay the price, we're still backward, there's still people. Uh, out there here they were more advanced <laughs> um, ironical now self irony I hope but if you go behind beyond that fence that's the tortilla curtain 
another amazing book, by the way, uh, with uh, not the Mexicans or the Hispanics, but who are surely better off in the U.S. even if they often don't enjoy the uh, benefits of uh, of the rest of the population, the average man. Uh, now with Trump, they may face a wall and mass deportation. Who knows? Um, but when with this um, all quiet on the Western Front, even the title is ironical because one of our heroes, I wouldn't say who, there's no spoiler run, alert, eventually maybe you read the book after, who knows, you uh, watch this. And um, one of the heroes dies, I won't say who, when all is quiet on the Western Front. That's what the official line for that day was, because it wasn't that serious, but our man, one of our young uh, fighters, still dies on that day. Powerful book. Um, which raises the question, well, what is it good for? Well, alas, as it happens, war has some results. I recommend another extraordinary masterpiece. Uh, war, what is it good for? By Ian Morris, who explains there that indeed wars um, are good for something. But it doesn't feel like it after you read uh, All Quiet on the Western Front, which I strongly recommend, by the way.